when you are like a public person like this, you have what, like 75,000 recently right followers yeah. on Instagram, it must get really annoying, like all the, you know, online hate and like negative comments that you get just from random Listen, people. Listen, man, I trolls. block people all the time. You block them. I block people <laughs> all the time. Like, do you know what? I even block people. I see comment stuff I don't like on other people's posts. Yeah. Like if I see someone comment something negative on somebody else's post, I just block them. I'm like, I don't need that negativity in my life. Like I, I always feel like if you don't have something positive to say, yeah, just move on. Do you, do you, like here, here's what I mean. Like if I'm watching a TV channel, right, and it doesn't have something I want on. Like say you're watching BBC One, you just turn over to BBC Two when there's something you don't like, right? You don't go, okay. BBC One, your shit. Everything you put on is crap. What kind of programming is this? You just move on, right? You just move on. And think of Instagram or anything in life like you're watching TV. Just move on to the next thing, man. Just go on. Like, you don't need to tell everybody they don't like. And and what's what, what, what we live in a society now where, like, you can go and seek out the things you like in a lot more. In a uh, in a much easier way, so it's not like people are force feeding things down you. You've actively gone and clicked on someone's profile, or you're following someone, and then you're like, "Hmm, I'm having a bad day. Let me go and." No, but it's like yeah, else. someone's <clears throat> someone's doing a lot of work, trying, you know, putting something together, putting a bit of themselves into yeah. into the piece of work, and then you these people they they feel like they I think they feel like they have they have a lot of power because they didn't have to do shit. They just sit behind their desktop and they're like, it's all shit, you're shit. And what, they, you know. what I say to people all the time is, right, trolls nowadays, they're, they're, they've got it easy. Do you know how hard it must have been to be a troll in the 90s or the 80s? <laughs> you have to write letters. Like, yeah, no, yeah but, but just think about like everything that goes into that. I had to go to WH Smith's or wherever, yeah. buy, a, buy a pen and paper, r like stamps from the post office, an envelope, write out the letter, whatever, put it in the envelope, then st put the stamp on it, write the address. You had to find the address and there was no Google. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to find the address. You had to ring up or go into the phone book, phone book or whatever. Yellow pages. Yeah, yellow pages, whatever. Find the address somehow. And then once you found the right address, then you, you have to go out, literally outside of your house and go and post it. And then that was the that was the, so then when somebody hated you back in the day you'd be like oh this motherfucker really hates me like do you yeah. know what I mean like they're, they're, <laughs> he's put effort into he it. went all the way yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. whereas trolling now it does, like the guy is sat in his boxes on like at home do you know what I mean it's just like on an Android phone it's always somebody on an Android phone like that and then they just <laughs> no it is it's not like do you know what I mean like it it just is you, you look at their pictures it's a bit fuzzy the videos aren't quite right um and then yeah they're, they're sending you hate whereas before man there was effort. I respected those guys. If listen, if you took the time out to write me a letter to tell me I'm a piece of shit, I, I have to respect you. I'm like, look, sure. man, I, like I put together, I put time and effort into doing whatever I did that you don't like, and you put time and effort into your hate. If they typed it up, even better. But do you do you block do you do you block and get rid of and delete all the negative comments or just the ones that are insulting? I get so many comments though, so, so I can't go through every single comment with a fine tooth comb. Like, but. I'll just block somebody and usually it just gets rid of their comment once you block them anyway. Ah, right. No. So it's just... No, but for example, life. somebody can write a, like, sort of a negative comment criticizing you, but I don't know, giving you some, maybe maybe some sort of constructive, more constructive criticism rather than you're a dickhead. Maybe something like... Well, I mean, Twitter's got a great function where you can mute. You can just mute <laughs> no, no, people. No, no. Would you... Would you would so, so listen, Would like, you block these guys as well? No, mute. Constructive you, criticism. Mute, mute, mute. Just... <laughs> Fuck constructive yeah, criticism. Yeah, yeah. Mute. No, do you know what? This is the thing, though constructive criticism you have to understand who it's from right yeah. if eddie murphy has given me constructive yeah. criticism fair enough if if john from down the road's given me concern no what entitles you to an opinion yeah. like about that do you see where i'm coming from like no yeah i get I'm, it i mean like, like, unless like you are doing you are you are doing the jokes you know you are doing comedy for them kind of like this yeah is yeah but 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 that's, there's a difference between stand-up comedy and videos online. When you do stand-up, you've got in instant feedback, so you know whether where things work. Um, you know when things work or they don't work. Because as soon as you do make make a, you you say something and you don't get a laugh, you're like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Whereas on the online online sphere, it's different. Where it's just like, okay, this isn't getting shared as much, mm. or this isn't getting as many interactions, yeah. so it mustn't. It, it must not be that good right so that it that's the way of looking at it like but like i said like you don't need to just go man this is crap like yeah, just no, I get it, yeah. chill out relax <clears throat> like if if somebody for example doesn't like your podcast you don't want them to tell you i don't like just move on 
Do you know what I mean, just move on. Yeah. Like, they're, they're, unless people are listening to you every week, they they listen to the podcast and they're fans and be like, do you know what I like? Do you, what you should do more of? That's cool. But just randomly, like you look at a profile, they're not even following you or whatever, and it's just like, 